significant chunk of President Rodrigo Duterte's regular public address on Monday, May 17, is devoted to former Senator Juan Ponce Enrile and his support for the government's approach to China. So important was the Enrile portion to Duterte that Malacanang communication staff divided the public address into two parts for airing, part one just for Enrile and part two on the COVID-19 response. Part 1 shows Enrile and Duterte exchanging views about geopolitics. It was clear Duterte invited Enrile to get one thing, verbal public affirmation of the soundness of his policy on China and the West Philippine Sea. Only history will judge you. And I think that uh, history will judge you very well. If I were in your place, uh, I, would, uh, I would have done the same thing. What else can... A president of this country do under our present national circumstance. You can shout, you can beat your breast, you can raise your fist without any backup. It's just that is just noise. And really adds, Duterte's softer approach to China is the right course of action. All I can say, Mr. President, is we must do everything to avoid irritating China or giving China a reason to uh, be angry, take uh, deal with our core territory because our core territory is very important to China. It's like a fence. And really also echoes Duterte's derision for the United States government. Hindi natin maasahan ang Amerika sa mga ganitong usapin. Duterte and Enrile also talk about their shared annoyance for former Senator Antonio Trillanes. Enrile recalls his old fight with Trillanes, who walked out of a 2012 Senate session after being grilled about his role in back-channel talks with China. Trillanes has been a vocal critic of Duterte since 2016. He announced on Wednesday, May 12, he might seek the presidency in 2022. But nine years ago, Enrile was singing a different tune and was in fact part of a crucial July 2012 Aquino cabinet meeting on the Scarborough Shoal standoff. In the book Rock Solid, Rappler's editor-at-large Marites Vito recounts how Aquino wanted to sound off his inner circle and the leaders of the legislative branch about departing from a purely bilateral approach. Filing a case with an international tribunal was not yet on the agenda. Enrile said the country should assert its rights and consult its allies first without foregoing bilateral talks.